Today we're making fortune cookies and I'm going to start by adding one egg and beating it slightly. Then I'm going to slowly add in one quarter cup of sugar. Now that that has been beaten until it's thick, I'm going to fold in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then we'll pause here while I get the water and cornstarch mixture. In this bowl, I already have two tablespoons of water. I'm going to add two tablespoons of flour. And a quarter cup of cornstarch. Just mix this together make like a paste. Corn starch is the starch that comes from corn. And then I'm going to slowly add this into my egg mixture. Um, before I add this into my egg mixture, I also need a half teaspoon of vanilla. Hopefully I have enough. Okay, my half teaspoon of vanilla. And then I can slowly start adding my cornstarch mixture in, which is kind of like glue at this point. Okay, I'll keep slowly adding this in and then we'll come back when I'm done. This is just to show you what it looks like now that it's all mixed together. Next step is to cook them on the griddle. Okay, now that we have our batter made and our griddle is heated to 350 degrees, you're just gonna spoon the batter on heaping tablespoons onto the griddle. And you don't make too many at one time to start off with. Because you need to learn how to fold them properly. That one's not a perfect circle, so let me kind of, that'll be a big fortune cookie. Uh, you need to learn how to fold them properly the first time, so don't try to cook a whole bunch the first time you do it. You have to fold them quickly while they're hot. You can't let them cool, because then it's too late to fold them after it's cooled. So they cook for five minutes, and so we'll stop here and wait for five minutes. After you've poured the batter and it's had a minute to set, if your batter didn't come out in a perfect circle, which you won't get a perfect circle, but if you have a big blob like that, you can just kind of chop it off 
so that you have more of a rounder fortune cookie. Okay, once the fortune cookies start to look golden brown on the underside, then you can take them off. However, I think I'm just going to try flipping it and letting it cook for just a few seconds on the other side. And then put it on a plate. And lost my fortune already. Um, put your fortune inside. Fold it in half. And then over the edge of a bowl, fold your cookie like that. And then to help keep its shape, you can put it in a muffin tin to help, help it keep its shape while you work on the next portion cookie. There's my Fold it in half, push it over the side of the bowl, hot, okay, and into the muffin tin. That one stayed on the griddle a little too long while we were working on the other ones. So you can see why you don't want to cook too many at one time. However, since you are in a kitchen group and you have three or four or five people in your group, you could cook more because you'd all be able to take them off and fold them at the same time.